Hello everybody, my name is Beth the Builder, and this week we're gonna build a window screen. All right, so this is gonna be for a basement window, and as you can see here, I'll put it on the screen. This is a big hot mess, <laughs> okay? Screen's broken, frame is falling apart, it's no good. And this has been in the back of my mind for a little while, and before it's winter, I thought, hey, it's probably a good idea to fix that, finally. <laughs> so obviously, you could go buy a window screen. You can buy anything. And you might ask yourself, why don't I do that? But uh, that's not my thing. That's for chumps. Secondly, um, I'm pretty sure my window is a odd size. So my window screen needs to be 39 and a half inches by about 21 and a half inches which seems kind of huge, honestly. I went and remeasured because when I was like looking at the wood I had and I was like measuring it out, I was like, is this right? It seems gigantic <laughs> and it is right. So my quick internet search didn't come up with anything quite that size. So I think it would be a custom thing, which is then like $160, which seems ridiculous. And like maybe it's a scam because uh, it's a plastic frame with mesh in the middle. So what the f and thirdly, I have the materials to do this. So I have some wood. Um, they're one and a half inch boards by three quarter inch thick, which is probably a little bit thicker than you might necessarily need or want, but that's what I got. And then I have a whole roll of window screen. Wow, look at that. This is from my mom. Uh, we, I, we, I grew up on an acreage and you end up with lots of weird miscellaneous things when you grow up in the country and um, then you keep them. <laughs> so she had a whole roll of this, which is super handy for this project. So the first thing we're gonna do is cut all my boards to length and get those um, tacked together and then we'll go from there. So let's do that. Alrighty, so my frame is all tacked together and I painted it and then I sealed it because the paint I ended up using is interior paint and the right thing would be to use exterior paint, but I wasn't gonna go buy special paint for this one little three foot frame. It's not, no, I'm not gonna do that. So I just sprayed it with some semi glass spray. We should be fine. I've used interior paint for projects that were gonna be outside before and it was fine, you know, it just ends up flaking a little bit more quickly than if you're using exterior paint. So the last thing we need to do before we can install this is attach our screen material. So I have my mm, staple gun that I'm gonna use. Um, so I feel like that's, you know, the only tool you'd really need. So you can get like a cheap staple gun for like a few dollars and it gets the job done. You don't have to have like a fancy pneumatic one that attaches to an air compressor. Mine is you just plug it into the wall, which there's pros and cons to that. So that's kind of the last thing we need to do. And then after that, we can get to installing it. And hopefully that's uh, easy. We'll see. <laughs>
Okay, so I cleared my window all out, so I got all this debris and like loose paint, and then I sprayed some insulating foam along the edges of the window because it's an old window, it's probably drafty and shitty. So, and I used this <laughs> can of insulating foam called Great Stuff Gaps and Cracks, which in my opinion is just a hilarious name. <laughs> but that's what I used, and uh, yeah, it seems efficient, but uh, what's up with that name, guys? Maybe we can do better? <laughs> Anyway, so I did that, so then last night I went to install my window screen, and guess what? It's too big. Yeah, I know. So it's too big by maybe an eighth of an inch. So, so frustrating. Okay, so this is what happened. The bottom part of the sill that is exposed to the elements is slightly squishy. So when I went to measure to build my window screen, um, it gave me a slightly inaccurate reading because I was going from what I could get my tape measure against to the top of where the, the window screen would sit. So that's inaccurate because this is squishy and has like, you know, eroded slightly and where the window screen actually sits is still like pretty solid wood. So what I should have done is taken the old window screen out and then measured where exactly where it was going to, the new one was going to sit. Um, but I didn't do that, which is really annoying. So what I did is I brought it inside last night, took out some screws, trimmed it down, it was fine. But still really frustrating because when you've built something and then when you go and install it, you don't really want to have to like fuck around with trimming it down and making it, you know, weaker and shittier and stuff. So um, for the future, I think uh, if you can take something apart and then measure where it's going to, where your new thing is going to sit, that's probably the way to go. I guess, uh, hey. Lesson learned. Um, I've never done this before, so, you know, whatever. It's not that big of a deal, but it is annoying. And then, you know, it was dark <laughs> by the time I got, I got to this because it gets dark here at like five o'clock. So kind of frustrating, um, but at the end of the day, not that big of a deal because, you know, yeah. I could get it in there, like I could jam it in there and like with, I like was hammering into place but it wasn't sitting the way I wanted and also it felt like if I do that eventually it will be impossible to get out without breaking it which doesn't seem ideal <laughs> so I don't really know why I would need to remove this window screen because as long as it's not broken like debris shouldn't really get in there um but it is nice to have the option if you wanted to remove it and like in the future I'll want to like paint more of this and then eventually probably replace this rotten little front trim piece so yeah, it'd be nice to be able to remove it. So I just trimmed it down rather than trying to jam it into place because I've done that with stuff. I've just forced it like some kind of caveman and um, it doesn't go favorably, weirdly enough. <laughs> but yeah, overall, I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out. I know it's just like a simple wooden frame with some screen, but like it does make this look really, like way less janky and scary <laughs> than the ripped up window screen so yeah i'm really glad to be able to check this off my list and to have spent zero dollars that's pretty nice you can't really beat that honestly when you're diying and fixing stuff around your house so yeah i would say go uh make your own window screen don't spend like a hundred dollars on a custom window screen i don't think that's necessary i think it's ridiculous and i almost guarantee you could buy these materials for less than that Alrighty, so give me a like and subscribe. I have new videos every Friday, so you can be on the lookout for that. Um, you know, I'll do more projects and sometimes fuck it up and then I'll like tell you about it. So pr pretty, pretty good. So yeah, I hope everyone's staying warm. Ugh, oh, it's chilly. I'll see you guys next week with a new video and thanks for watching.